Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Had a uh, request from a gentleman on uh, on my one of my window tint videos regarding a little bit more detail of how to hand cut a um, a door. So the uh, door I'm going to cut today is on this 2018 uh, Toyota Camry. I'm going to show you um, how to cut a back door out uh, using basically off the roll of film. Now it's going to be up to y'all for y'all to know which way your film rolls. I know I'm using Lumar window film. So I know which way it rolls. So starting with the roll, I'm gonna get a general idea of how big my window is. Now that I'm to this point, I can see that my, uh, my window film is completely covering the window that I wanna cut out. So what I'll do is I will grab my roll of window film and I'll remove it off of the car. Now mind you, I really don't hand cut cars that much anymore, but for y'all, I will do this. Okay, on most cars, you can take your window film and line it up to the very best that you can along that bottom edge. And if the, if the edge is not perfectly flat, it's okay. Get it as straight as you possibly can. At this point, again, make sure that you're covering left to right on your, on your, on your window and everything's good to go. I know I'm far enough down here where I will not have any light gaps. It's at that point in time, you want to make sure that your film is not going to move on you. So I have now stuck the film for it to move. Now this step right here, it's not absolutely necessary, but I want to get rid of any access film off of it. It just makes it easier to manage. So now I've got the tent lined up on the bottom and I know I'm fully covering. What you do is you come in and it's really, um, really doesn't matter. You can pick a side left or right of the, of the window film to cut initially. So make sure you've got your blade snapped and it's sharp and it's ready to go. So I've got my edge here and what I'll normally do is I will stick a, you know, my finger here to get an idea of where I'm at before I plunge into the window film. And you can see this is where the, the trim line is. So I pop in and again, can you show that I have very minimal blade exposed. There's no need to try to cut your window tent with more than just that much of your blade sticking out. So take your film, rip it away from the window so it's removed. Now, what you do not want to do is come over here and cut this side because what it'll do, it's going to make your, your, it'll cut your window tent perfect to where it just fits this window perfect essentially, but what it, what it will not do is it does not give you access to move your window tent left and right. So when you've got this one edge cut, again, I, don't, I mean, I don't watch YouTube videos of window tent, but you don't want to come over here and cut this because it'll, it'll, it'll be too perfect and you won't have any wiggle room left or right. So what I do is I'll take, I'll remove the window film back off the car. I'll re-wet it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reline the bottom edge back up again to that, to that factory line there at the bottom or the, on the rubber. And what I wanna do is on my edge here, I know I cut this window film right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump the film over. And you can see I've got, there's this little trim here that I'll use as kind of my guide and it's gonna vary per car, but I'll bump it over so I have access. So now, my bottom's lined up, I have access on this side, so now I'm gonna cut this edge. So again, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna stick this edge so I know I get no movement, or excuse me, stick the top. So the bottom's lined up, this edge has already been cut, I've bumped it over about this much, just a hair, over so I have access. Now it's time to cut this edge. And again, only gonna pop that, uh, blade out just a hair, just enough to plunge into the window film. Straight down, rip away. And again, there's only like this much of that blade protruding out. So rip away from the window film. This is obviously your window. You don't want to rip into your window, rip away. Okay, so as you know, the bottom is good to go. You have left, you have access here, and this is cut to the, uh, to the factory edge. So what you want to do, Take your door, open your door, pull your fendo, uh, window film up so that you can fold up your bottom edge. And the reason why you're gonna fold this bottom edge up is because you're gonna kick your window down 
so that it'll expose the factory top edge of the window so that you can make that um, make that cut. All right, so now we got the window rolled down about two inches. Now you can see that you have this top edge here. So this is what I want to come in and I want to cut that top edge absolutely perfect. In the industry, they call that a micro edge. So what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is now I will put that blade out a little bit uh, further than I, than, than I would when I'm cutting edges. So I'll pop it right into the, into the material. So now this blade is physically sitting on that top edge, okay? And I use the top edge as my guide. And when you cut film like that, it is 100% perfect across that top edge. And your angle at which you decide to cut it at is very crucial. If it's too flat, you, you have a chance of skipping off. If it's too straight, if your blade is too straight up and down, it's not gonna cut right. So you need to have a, a, the proper angle while you're cutting across that film. And that's gonna give you a perfect edge that matches this window 100% perfect. So now, top edge is cut. You know my two side edges are cut and the bottom is cut. So now it's time to go to the board to clean all the edges up that didn't, that didn't get cut. And do not attempt to make these windows perfect on the car. This little access stuff is easily fixed, remedied on the glass, on, the, on your board. So now I'm gonna take this piece of window film now I've got it on the board. Now it's time to clean up your edges. All these little points, you want all those edges nice and round. And if you hear people talk about round edges, the reason why you want a round edge is when that edge is round while the window is going up and down through its cycle over the period of years and months and all that good stuff, the round edge is less susceptible to be peeled up instead of a sharp pointy edge with your rubber and stuff like that. So come in here and just cut these edges nice and round. Come down here. I don't need any special tools, but I know where this edge is that I cut here, and I, I can see my top edge there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my knife up, keep it nice and straight, cut straight down, just round in to the already existing top edge right there. It's that simple. And again, you can choose whether to cut straight down or follow this line. Either way, it's your choice. So what I'll do is I'll come in here, and initially what I'm gonna do is just Gonna cut straight down, come across here on this little top edge right here. Round it up. That's how, I didn't cut this edge, so let me cut, it, cut this real quick. Skip that, I got ahead of myself. But make all your edges nice and round. And all this is, is it's insurance, guys. The more time you spend here making these patterns, properly fit and cleaning them up. This is what we'd call cleaning up a pattern. You're gonna be less susceptible to peels. So once you get your window film that notice guys, I've got this, this piece of tint on there upside down. I'm gonna put it back on the glass just to show y'all something real quick. This is stuff I've learned over many, many years of tinting. So it's up right now as, you'd, as you would see this vehicle. So I usually take it off. I flip it upside down immediately because that makes the installation a lot easier when I'm gonna remove it from the board to the automobile. Because what I'll do is I'll peel off the liner, slide my hands underneath the, the physical film that's gonna be taken uh, carried to the vehicle, and it's, it's a lot easier to handle. So I know I've had a sticker. Don't move my chairs. I know I've had a sticker on that, uh, on that glass. Did I shriek that? No. No? All right. One thing that I do that a lot of other window tinters do not do is I shrink all my window film right on the board. It doesn't mean that shrinking it on the car is not a good idea. That's a great idea. It works. This is just a tad bit faster. So I'll come in. I'll create that fake contour that I like to do. Do a mild shrink on it like that. So I've got this window sticker or Maroney. A lot of y'all guys, if y'all tinting out of shops, y'all won't see those. You're probably doing maybe a little bit late, more, uh, a little bit older cars, but I'm going to clean this window because I know there was a sticker there. 
I've got the whole window clean, so now it's time to get that top edge exposed so I can access that top edge. Clean it up real good. I use white scrubbies. These are the best thing to clean these windows. If you don't want to worry about scratching it, if you don't need to use a razor blade, you can use a white scrubby. They work perfect. So pay attention to your squeegeeing. Control the water. If you're controlling the water, you are controlling the dirt and where it goes. So I've already, already completely squeegeed this window. So now I'm gonna bring my water in. And it's not only to help apply it, but I'm also using it, using it to clean. So I'm controlling the dirt by washing it down. I don't just randomly spray it on the window so that it'll, it'll suck dirt into my window film. So I've, I've started at the top the rinse. I've rinsed my channels on the side straight down. Let's get all the dirt going down to the, to the bottom. So I'll come in here, peel back the liner, which now is going to, the protective liner is going to expose the window film. So again, pop up a, an edge. Don't handle the, the film because there's glue on there. Get your hands underneath there. And when you have the top edge of your film overlapping over your hands and you have the bottom edge the way it is, it creates it very easy to handle the window film where you can move around and um, just in case you have a breeze in your shop, makes it very, very easy, very easy to handle. I've seen, tech, uh, I've seen tent guys actually hold the top of the window with their fingers. That's a big fat no-no in my book. There's no need for that. Don't touch it at all. So coming over here to install it, I'll usually pick one side, which is going to be the left side, and I'll slide that left side in first. I'm going to kick it back to the right, and now I know I've got 100% coverage. I've got room. I've got wiggle room inside the rubber gaskets here because there's, there's room on each side. So now I can position this window so that it matches that top edge absolutely perfect. So starting at, at the top, hold your, if, if you, my hand is here for a reason. I'm, I'm, I'm holding the film while I'm squeegeeing so it does not move on me. Like it just did there, it just moved. As soon as I moved my hand off it, it moved. I'm using this rubber base squeegee, which gets uh, it's less susceptible for scratching, gets more water out. don't have to worry about putting a whole mess of pressure on it at that point in time. So I usually take my gray card that I like to keep meticulously um, sanded down and smoothed out. So I'll hit it one time with the, with the gray card to get a better tack on it. It's a little chilly here in Texas today, so I'm going to add some more insurance with my torch. And this is just to make 100% sure to the best of my ability that once I slide this, once I roll this window up, it's not gonna come down on me. This torch is a little bit bigger than what a lot of the tent guys that I've known over the years to use. They'll use those little bitty pocket torches and those work great. They're great for these little quarter windows, but um, this thing is just more cost effective. You can get this propane real cheap. So this window has been heated up which of course, when you add heat to your window film, it's speeding up the drying process. All right. Can you come around here and show that top edge? Can you get it to where you can see? Can you see the top edge through there pretty good? Looks like mm -hmm. factory, doesn't it? This is what you're going for, guys. Hand cut window tint. Not saying that that machine does not do a good job, but it is literally right to the edge. So now, I've heated this edge, I, I'm gonna check it. It does feel like it's stuck to me, but on every vehicle, what I do is I'll apply a little bit of pressure outwards on this top edge so it does not catch on the rubber once it's rolling up. So I'll come in here just with minimal force with my thumb, boom, I roll it up. Now I'm gonna work the bottom. Again, fold the window film up. Any dirt that's hanging out right here because you just rolled the window up, so there's gonna be dirt that was not cleaned here. So come in, rinse it straight down. Straight down. Control the water. Don't randomly spray it up in there because any dirt, you do not wanna flush dirt out of your sides and into your window film 
where it's gonna be viewed by, by your customers. All right, so we've got the liner removed. I like this little orange card. We'll take, I'll pull the film back. I'll ease the rubber back. Slowly run it back down here. Pull that lower rubber back. Now I know all my window film is down below that rubber and I start my squeegee. Now I always start at the middle and I divide up everything. Everything's divided up. All right, I'm gonna close the door. Let's take a look at it. Give me your, give me your opinion, Mr. Saul. My guy on the camera today is the young man that I'm teaching how to. Is this the first time you ever seen me hand cut a glass? Yes, sir. A door? Okay, fantastic. I'm trying to teach this guy. He's 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 learning really good. He's coming along real good. So he's gonna be a monster one day. So I got a couple little small folding fingers right here in the corner. Hopefully he picks that up in the camera. No. Nope. Show you how to get. The, can you see him? Uh, Look guys, I'm gonna even show you my boo-boos, but this is fixable. We come in Does that show up pretty good? Yeah, looks cool All right, so When you heat up this glass you can't it, it, it's it's senseless to just to go in and start trying to get fix it immediately Let that heat penetrate through the glass to the material Give it a couple seconds seconds five seconds ten seconds so can you get in real close close here? So these are the little marks where I folded up that bottom of the window film. How's that show up, buddy? Good? Just a little bit. Okay. It's only showing up a little bit. Mm -hmm. well, as long as I can see it. All right. It looks like it was it never happened. And again, that's gonna be very common when you're folding up window tint, um, doing it this way without removing door panels. Got a little something there, some water on the inside, no problem. Look at that window, dude. There's another one there. All right. Come around over here. No, I can't see those. You can see better. those little bubbles? Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem. So again, I'm gonna take take my chiseler, push the bubbles right out. Heat up the side edge. If you notice something, I don't come in here and I heat these windows like this because this flame will come out of this torch and, and it goes both all directions actually. So. I angle this torch to only heat the glass exactly where I want it. How's that look, sir? Look like I did it before? Yeah. It almost looks like I've done that You're before. You're getting better. Dude. Huh? You're getting better. I Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Man, listen, working around you guys, man, only mm -hmm. pushes me even harder to do better. You know what I'm saying? So that's your basics, guys. I appreciate y'all's comments. As always, like, subscribe, keep watching the channel. Thank y'all so much. Have an awesome day.